Expedia, taming technology. We're going to have a look at how to set the uh, audio device driver in Sonar 6, uh, and this would pretty much apply to Sonar 5 as well as Sonar 7, the newer version. We're going to go up to the Options menu, choose Audio, and we're going to have a look at this window here. Let's start out in the General tab. We can see here that I've got a Sound Blaster card uh, selected as my audio device at the moment, which is uh, just a built-in sound card that comes with this computer. But uh, I've just gotten an M-Audio Fast Track Pro, um, something more suitable for uh, audio uh, recording and playback with Sonar, and I want to set that up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look in the Advanced tab, and I'm going to look at the Driver Mode and uh, you'll, that's re also reflected in the uh, upper area of the window here, the WDM slash KS uh, driver mode. And that's not really what we want. We want to use uh, a driver called ASIO, uh, which is uh, more efficient for uh, recording and playback. So I'm going to go into the driver mode area and click on this drop down and choose ASIO. And while I'm in here, I'm also going to go and look at the Drivers tab, and you can see all the different uh, devices that I have hooked up to this computer. You probably won't see as many in your system, uh, but there will be a few to choose from. And I can see in this list that I've got my Fast Track Pro in here, but it's not selected. So what I'm going to do is deselect my Sound Blaster card in the Input section, enable my Fast Track Pro in 1 and 2 instead. Uh, this Fast Track Pro uh, uh, item here is a digital input which I'm not going to be using at this point. So I'm also going to go to the output drivers and change them as well from Sound Blaster to Fast Track Pro Out 1 and 2. There's a 3 and 4 output as well but again I'm not going to be using that. Now once I've done that and I've set my driver mode at ASIO I'm going to click OK and we're going to get a message from Sonar saying that uh, these changes can't take effect until I restart Sonar. Not the computer, just Sonar itself. So I'm going to click OK and I'm going to click on Disable that because I'm not going to use it again and I'm going to quit Sonar. And I'm just going to start it right up again. I'll just open up my little test, blank test project here. I'm going to go back up to the Options window go to the audio item and looks like things didn't quite work out the way I wanted so I'm gonna double check this again okay we are set for ASIO but I'm gonna go back to the drivers list and have a look again here alright somehow a, a different ASIO driver got uh, chosen but we're not gonna let that discourage us and you'll also notice that all the other ones are grayed out there they seem to be unavailable but the moment I uncheck that one as well as the one in the uh, output section watch closely everything suddenly comes back to life so I'm gonna reselect my M audio device there and here just going to double check. I'm still set on ASIO. And we can't change that stuff until we restart one more time. So I'm going to click OK. We're going to get that message again. And I'm going to quit Sonar again. And I'm going to restart Sonar again. All right, going to open up the test project one more time. Going to go back to the options menu item, choose audio, and look what we have here. M Audio USB Analog Fast Track Pro is our playback timing master. It's also our record timing master, and that is what we want. I'm just going to double check these other settings. We are set for ASIO, and our drivers are, in fact, the M Audio device. You can now start using your ASIO device. Obedia. Taming technology.